Oh, no, 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 no. Ready, ready, steady. Hang on. Oh.
You're going to build one there. I've got one of the bigger ones and I keep meaning to um, modify it. Um, I know people who've taken off the back wheels yeah. and put the kind of shaft with the ears on so they can... Uh,
Yeah, a lot of them are gears. Uh -huh. It is true. Doesn't that give it more torque? This is one they got to tell This year we're looking for the model that is the best scale model of something, of a known subject. So not something that we've created up in our heads. It's got to be a model of a real thing that looks very close to the real thing. So it's for people who enjoy researching about the history of a model. It could be an unusual model, but whatever. Um, and a way of translating that into Meccano with nuts and bolts. So I'm delighted to say we've uh, found a winner this year and we're going to award that just before we settle down for the time trial. So we'll uh, break uh, suspense here. Mary, you've done the counting, you know who's the winner. I'm the only one that knows who it is. Please tell us. Ken Cena, who's uh, uh, he's, uh, an ex-pilot himself, knows his aeroplanes. He's, uh, uh, he's built the magnificent red aeroplane to see there. It's called... Uh, well, while they, while they put to the camera, I'll tell you that his aeroplane is... Uh, it's not a plane, it's just called a, it's an airship. It's, uh, Coming, I'm afraid. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
we've uh, got more entries than ever this time. So we're going to divide it into two sections, first of all. Some machines are clockwork and some machines are electric. So, uh, uh, and so some are driven by elastic bands. Uh, so would you tell me, as the uh, creator of the elastic band driven machine, would you say that counts as clockwork rather than electric? I don't know. Well, would you rather compete against clockwork machines or electric machines? Clockwork. Clockwork yeah. machines, probably, I think so too. <laughs> right, so, uh, and so, uh, what's the machine called, Tony? What are the called there? There? I've got one with an electric motor called Rack again. There, alright, so this is, this is still clockwork. There, right. And then I'm, I'm Chris, I'll put mine down. And uh, it's the WEM machine. Right from WEM. And the next clockwork machine up there is John, John Nuttall. What was, is yours got a name, John? Boomerang. Boomerang. Very appropriate. <laughs> and uh, any more clockwork machines? Oh, uh, Scott's hand went up there, right? Oh, Scott. What, what's, uh, what are you going to call those, Scott? Raven. Oh, what, sorry? Raven. Robocar, right. Robocar. Any more clockwork machines to put on the list here? Oh, Les? And uh, what's yours called, Les? Bolton Flyer. Bolton Flyer, right. Uh, any more clockwork contenders to come? So we have a grand total of one, two, three, four, five clockwork contenders. Um, so these are all clockwork. So I think we've probably got room, if my fellow competitors agree, if we line up our clockwork uh, competitors uh, in any position or uh, whichever grabs you along the line there. I need a key to wind up my clockwork machine. And, uh, now, uh, let me hand you over, but I should have said, there's a lady here, there's a lady here in the background, who's going to be our commentator, it's Lindsay, she's one of the senior presenters here at Ingenuity. If, um, if you're lucky enough to go to a school that does a lot of science and technology, you may have been here on a visit where you've done a project in the Gadget Done Workshop, but Lindsay and her team help run those. And um, so, so much gets done here for young people in science and we're very grateful to Ingenuity for having us here as their guests. So I'll hand it over to Lindsay, who's going to uh, adjudicate for us. And we're going to race five machines across the floor. And just so that you know, we've got to hit the barrier at the end, reverse and come back. And we'll, uh, we'll eliminate the slowest one and find a winner at the end of this pop Right, so good afternoon everybody. Say welcome to Ingenuity and to our Mechanuity exhibition today. Uh, we are having a good race. Um, we've got lots of cheering, lots of clapping and what have you. So we're going to have a bit of a warm-up after the count of three. I want everyone to start cheering just randomly. Cheer randomly as you want, okay? As we count three. Three, two, one. Yay! Yay! But these robo cars creations, after the count of three, feel free to join in with me with this countdown. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. <laughs> you all ready? Yes. <laughs> three, two, one, go! <laughs> Someone's going a little right. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, are we all ready? Yep. Nearly. Okay, are we ready? After three, three, two, one, go!
We don't waste anything here. Yeah. 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 Right, block work contenders. Um, oh, well, there's, there's myself again. Now there's uh, I'll put Wen Stark and uh, Wen Treacle. The champion. One's faster than the other. Right, uh, other electric contenders, uh, show yourselves please. Um, is it Luke? Yeah, Luke. Luke, what's your machine, Luke? Twin turbo. Twin turbo. And uh, any other electric contenders? Uh, back Tony, back again. And uh, Rob Mitchell, as well. Is he hiding? Rob Mitchell. Flatfish Foods. I see so much water in the chair section. Right. And um, uh, Alan, we've got. Alan's got a lot of new members. Yeah. What was your thought? I don't know if anybody's checking on this. <laughs> right, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten percent. Anybody, um, anybody else got another electric machine you haven't mentioned yet? Right, so we'll, we'll see if we can line up six across the front of the stage here. Um, Oh, you've got another one. Barnsley Baby. Yeah, this is Barnsley Baby. Right. Thank you. 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 
Pushing it, Chris. <laughs>
Hvorfor er sådan noget? Behind the line. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, go! That's unfortunate because Tony was really fast. Well done, Tony, uh, for coming up with a very clever design. I don't see he's got low friction bearings on his wheels, and uh, uh, the machine is powered only by a rubber band. So, as I always say, enjoy the rest of the show here. Have a look around the uh, competitions, and uh, uh, Wendy, uh, who's there, uh, waiting for you there, will uh, let you have a go at building your own model on the tables there, whether in plastic or metal Meccano and um, see what you can turn up with. And the, uh, I'd like to also thank my wife Jane and her friend Leslie from Barnsley for all their efforts to the catering over the weekend as well. And uh, so the uh, service is a Thank you very much guys, enjoy the rest of your day here at Ingenuity. Thank you. Um, do, do, do you have a, a, a racer who's going to start first? Joe. Joe, you're not the only one. Yes, right. 
I'm set right. So Joe is going to uh, give a demonstration lap of this performance. The radio controlled cars are built from the Carnot kits, and uh, we, if anybody else wants to have a go, we will supply the car. You get to choose your car as anyone yeah. you wants. Right? Um, they, they handle it in the same way. And uh, Joe here is uh, going to uh, drive the car around the circuit. It's unusual because it's, uh, it's anti-clockwise, and a lot of tracks are clockwise. Uh, is it based on any particular circuit? It did start out about the park in Leicestershire. Right. So it's not really that tall there. But it's, it's a circle like Mallory Park. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. So, um, so we got the stopwatch ready for Joe. Right. Oh, okay. There are some rules, there are time penalties. Basically, you've got to get through all the gates. Now, the circuit would be pretty boring, so we put a little bit of a re reverse manoeuvre in as well. It's not just about speed, and with these cars, it's probably a good job for it. Um, so there's a time penalty, you've got to get through all the gates. If you knock a gate, or you're missing a gate, there's a time penalty. If you complete the course, then you'll be thrown out. And that's basically it. And we can't race them together because they're all on the same beat, isn't it? And it basically is the fastest person will win. Joe will get one lap and one minute, whichever it is, practice, to practice. And it really comes through for three seconds, and then he'll stop and then he'll do his one time lap. Okay, so we have to start, so we've given the countdown three, two, one, ready? Three. Two, one, go! So this is the practice lap, so around the double bed strip corner, to the curved strip corner, and through the oh, corner brackets. Oh. Barrier, little bump there, along the Hornby straight, around the corner on the far side, which is going to the um, uh, Axel S's bend, and uh, into the uh, nuts manoeuvre, which always hit it, hitting the barriers, but uh, hit into the corner, out of that wheel. He's going back because he's going the wrong way. And he's going to reverse into the uh, bolt hole and back out Joe to get round to the um, start finish line. And he's got over the front. Well done, Joe. Right. Uh, what, what's the time there, Malcolm? I've got 37 seconds on the clock. 37 seconds. Well, that's an impressive time. Got some time penalties. Okay, so and a few time penalties. So we just reset the course. I'll reset the course. So all right. So Joe's going to get ready for his proper lap now and. Uh, Show us how it's really done. And um, so we're going to give the countdown. Ready? Uh, you're ready, Joe? Right. Three, two, one, go! Through the curve strip. Along the Holby Strait and around the Axel S bend into the um, uh, funny maneuver. Go backwards on it, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on to the side, well done, Joe. Right, come on, come on. So, the time that Joe 44 seconds. Is there anybody else who would like to turn set up for uh, his uh, proper time trial race now? We're just resetting one or two barriers, uh, uh, cones of the resetting. Um, and uh, if you're happy, Jamie, we'll uh, get you some again with the countdown. Ready? Three, two, one, go! <coughs> Sailing along that radio, so let's go. Drive into that one. Okay. We're looking at a time of 41.37 seconds, which in fact has put Jamie into the lead. Well done. Is there another? 
So we're all ready for Ella from Shift Null. Give her a countdown. Get started. Everybody ready? Big level. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Good start. Good start. Pairing left. Round the corner by the double deck strip.
40 seconds, which puts Owen from Sarvi, you've got him for second place. Well done. 41 seconds on practice rounds for Harry this morning. Let's see if we can uh, better that for the final round. Just setting up the uh, obstacles now. And um, so, Harry, you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so we give him a countdown. Three, two, one, go! And Harry's off. Round the left hand bend. Three the barriers. Yes. This goes off the goal set. We go to another one. Oh, almost. Uh, he's got to go forward into that box. He's got to go forward to the That counts, does it? Yeah. Yeah. Backwards into the corners. Off to the line, off the line. Yes! What time have we got here? This is going to be fast. This is. 4 2 1. Points. Is this with the time penalties? Right. 4 2 1. Points. 1 6. 41.16 seconds, which puts you into no, third, third place, Harry. It's faster than Jamie. Right. Well done, Harry. Give him a round of applause. It's third place. It's the breeze picking it up a bit. Yeah. 